In this problem, we have this 53 degree incline and the 5 kilogram box, which is attached to a string. The string goes over a pulley, and there's this horizontal force pulling on the string. This 5 kilogram box is pulled up the incline by 10 meters that way along this frictionless incline at a constant speed. And we're looking for this pulling force, and we want to find the work done by each force acting on the box and the work done by the net force. And then in part C, we want to find the change in kinetic energy of the box. For part A, we're looking for a force. So let's see, we have to do the forces process. At the constant speed, that means uh, the acceleration is uh, zero. And then we can draw the force diagram. For the box, if it has acceleration, it will be along the incline. So we just need to draw forces along the incline. Instead of drawing the mg, we would draw its component that goes down the incline. So that will be the mg sine theta. So this will be 50 times sine 53 degrees, which gives you 40 newtons. The box is touching the contact surface. The contact surface can give you no more force perpendicular to the incline and the friction, except for right now we don't have to worry about friction because it's frictionless. So the contact surface doesn't give us any force along the incline. It is also touching the string, so there's the tension pulling. It's not touching anything else, so that's all the forces along the incline. Since the acceleration is zero, that means the upward force equals to the downward force. Tension equals to 40 newtons. But we're not looking for the tension. We're looking for the force F pulling over there. Now, because this is the same string, so if the tension here is 40 newtons, the tension there is also 40 newtons, which means the string pulls on this force with 40 newtons, so the force pulls back with 40 newtons back that way, equal and opposite. So the pulling force must also be 40 newtons. Now let's see part B. We want to find the work done by each force acting on the box. So let's see. That will be, we have the non-contact force Mg acting on the box. The box is touching the contact surface, we have normal force but no friction. The box is also touching the tension. So let's see, the mg is 50 going straight down. The displacement is 10 meters up along the incline. And we want the angle between those two. Let's see, it may not be obvious. But uh, if I draw it over here, the mg goes down, the displacement goes up that way. The angle between those two is the, this angle right here. Now if I make a horizontal line right here, then you can see that we have 90 degrees right here, and that angle up there equals to the angle here, so it's 53 degrees up there, and it's 90 degrees down here. So the angle between the mg and the displacement is 53 plus 90 degrees. And this will give us a negative 400 joules. Now, we can also use the parallel component of the force. So in that case, I'm just going to write it up here. If we use the parallel component of the force, the mg goes down. The component of the mg that's parallel to the displacement will be the mg sine theta. So that will be the mg sine theta, which goes down the incline. The displacement is 10 up the incline, so the angle between those two would be 180 degrees. And if you, of course, if you do this calculation, you're going to get exactly the same negative 400 joules.
Now the work done for by the normal force doesn't matter how much your normal force is. Normal force is going to be perpendicular to the incline. The displacement is parallel to the incline. So these two, the normal force and the displacement, they are perpendicular to each other. So you get cosine 90 degrees, and cosine 90 degrees is zero. So normal force does not do any work. Now the work done by the tension. The tension goes up that way, 40 newtons. The displacement is 10 meters, same direction. So it's a cosine 0 degrees. Now the work done by the tension is also going to be the work done by your pulling force. The pulling force is 40 newtons. Now what displacement would that be? Would be 10. The pulling force goes that way. Which way do you think the displacement goes for that pulling force? When you pull this way, you're pulling to the left. So the force and the displacement, they are in the same direction, even though the box goes up that way. That is because the pulley allows the string to bend. So for the pulling force, the Displacement is to the left, same direction as the force. So you have cosine 0 degrees. So this force does work, which is uh, the same as the work done by the tension. And then we want to find the work done by the net force. Now we already have the work done by each force, so we can say this is the same as the work done by all of the forces added together. That will be negative 400 plus 0 plus oh, this one. If you do the calculation, it's going to be 400 joules. So it's a positive 400 joules. And so we add the positive 400, we will get the 0. So the work done by the net force is zero, and that means uh, the change in kinetic energy is also zero, because according to the work energy theorem, these two, they are the same. The work done by the net force equals to the change in kinetic energy. Of course, for this problem, we can also use other clues to find the work done by the net force and the change in kinetic energy. We know that the box goes up the incline at the constant speed without direction change. So the velocity does not change, which means uh, the acceleration is zero, and therefore the net force is zero, which means uh, the work done by the net force has to be zero. Or because the box goes up at a constant speed, the kinetic energy does not change. So the change in kinetic energy has to be zero. Now, before we finish, I would like to talk a little bit about the work done by normal force. Because normal force is always perpendicular to the contact surface, if an object only slides along a surface, the work done by normal force would be zero, whether it slides along a table or an incline. Normal force is perpendicular to the displacement perpendicular to the displacement, and therefore the work done by normal force is zero. However, if the object is not just sliding along a surface, for example, in this case, the work done by my normal force would not be zero. When the object goes up, the work done by the normal force would be positive because normal force and the displacement are in the same direction. When the object goes down, the work done by the normal force would be negative because normal force and the displacement are in opposite directions.